today we're gonna go over one of the coolest and best values right now in sealed breach dart blaster pistols this is the k2 Precision Dart Blaster by Top Solid. You might have seen it on View Blaster's website. You might have seen it on Zen Duo's website. It's distributed by many. I got this particular one on Amazon. Had a crazy sale. More on that after the intro. Let's get into it. <laughs> I saw this was on Zen Duo's website. I thought it was really, really cool looking. Gives you a very cyberpunk kind of feel. Very blocky, very sharp edged design. Futuristic at best. But the cool thing about this blaster just begins with the aesthetics. Once we get into the mechanics of how it's loaded and the chambering mechanism, you guys are gonna be pretty impressed. We're gonna switch to a top down view for a little bit, go through the blaster and its components, do a little shooting test, and see what we got. Let's get into All right, it. guys, so Zen Duo is calling this the K2 Clip Fed foam dart blaster. Technically, it's mag-fed. Semantics aside, we know that this is a mag-fed short dart firing pistol blaster, the sealed breech variety that Zen Duo has been coming out with. These are very competitive blasters. They had two colors available. One of them was green. I went ahead and chose the tan one. Without further ado, let's see what's inside. All right, guys, you got a one-page user manual. Pretty straightforward operation. You get six of these 10-round packages of darts for a total amount of 60 darts. One thing I do like about this brand is that they have a large generosity when it comes to darts. They don't cheap out on this department, and I've also noticed that the darts are not terrible quality. They actually function pretty well. You can never have enough darts, guys. Not enough darts. The blaster itself has a really cool design. Very blocky, sharp edged, yet contemporary. The injection molding and the plastic has a very, very good, high quality feel to it. K2 is printed onto the handle right here with a few subtle graphics such as take aim and sharpshooter here on the slide and on the body respectively. Right here we can see it does have an aluminum barrel and a sealed breech. It also includes this muzzle device which serves an aesthetic purpose. It says M5 Future on it. it. Has a very convenient and necessary orange painted ring here at the end of the muzzle. It slides on pretty easily and completes the aesthetic look of the blaster. Now this blaster has a very cool loading system. It does have a top loading internal mag such as our beloved bread machine but has a very unique loading design pull the slide back in order to load your rounds as a lot of sealed breech blasters that we have come to understand and love however you can either load darts manually or you can load it using these external loaders which you can also carry on your person for extra ammo and quick loading pretty cool feature the darts included are pretty good quality as i mentioned earlier the heads feel nice and soft it does have this slit down the middle of the head as i mentioned in the apex legends re45 video in order to reduce the amount of impact these blasters do hit in the 100s very nice sturdy foam and then the way the loading works is pretty straightforward you basically load six rounds into these external loaders like so and then you position the loader into this open bay here and then you literally are just going to push down on this slider to load all the rounds at once like that guys now you're going to remove the loader prime the blaster and you're ready to shoot Muzzle attachment for aesthetic purposes, or if you ever want to think extracurricular and ever extend the barrel of this blaster, you can actually use this as a nice aesthetic cover for it. Yeah, it shoots pretty hard, guys. <laughs> there you have it, guys. There's the blaster. Now, it does have a very nice rubber sleeve grip right here. It doesn't seem like the kind that slides around, kind of like the Mark 1.2 that we've complained about. It does have an area where it's textured, so it rests on there without sliding around too much. I really appreciate that kind of attention to detail. The blaster looks like it could be opened. It has screws everywhere. Nice hex screws here on the muzzle attachment. Give you that high quality feel. And believe it or not, this blaster is not expensive. I think on the Bue Blaster and Zen Duo site, these go for about 45 bucks. I believe right now they're on sale for $43.99, which is an absolute bargain for these. However, you can even get them cheaper if you order through Amazon. I believe Amazon had a limited quantity available last time I checked. I believe there were $29.99 and they had a few left, but this is a pretty inexpensive deal for what you get, guys. The main thing that's 
cool about this is at first it was only available through View Blaster's website or Zenduel's website, which had like a $45 premium and then shipping on top of that. And then 20 to 30 days on average on top of that, at least to the US. Recently, within the last week, I started seeing them pop up on Amazon. In one instance, I believe the price was $29.99. And then they had a coupon that I thought might have been a typographical error or something. It said 60% off. So when I applied the coupon, the checkout price was $12, guys. It's apparently one per customer to the extent that you can't even bring up the link anymore after you buy one of them. I had to get my girlfriend to buy the second one because I did want to take advantage of this value and buy two of them. You might want to do the same based on what you saw on this performance. But just a very unique pistol, great quality of build. The plastic feels great. Trigger pull feels great. This rubber overmold here gives you great ergonomic purchase of the blaster's grip. The top speed loading mechanism, pretty cool. It's almost like a cousin variant of the bread machine without the ejecting gimmick just a very very cool design i really like it guys i mean for a 100 plus fps sealed breech blaster anything under 20 bucks is kind of crazy but i'll let you guys be the judge let me know if you've already seen these if you already have one i know tim shooter has one i saw it on his instagram he's really enjoying it a lot if you guys have one or not let me know how you're enjoying it they do come in this coyote brown kind of tan color and it also comes in a hunter green kelly green kind of color as well i do like that they have the orange ring here it's not as nice as if a larger part of the muzzle was orange but it's good to have that there nonetheless especially given the fact that a lot of blasters coming out of asia right now just are completely real steel replicas not really the best thing for outdoor play but there's going to be a lot more blasters coming up that i'm going to be reviewing coming from both zen duo themselves as well as a lot of off brands like this top solid brand as well which is also distributed by view blaster and zen duo alike if you're in europe or amazon is not the best thing for you maybe you can check out those websites and get a good deal they have great coupons and deals going on all the time for those i have a lot of good videos coming in the pipeline for you but in the meantime while we wait for those i recommend you check out this video right here you guys are gonna enjoy the heck out of that till next time stay blasting foam fam